Welcome to Catlaw Truck Driving School's pre-trip training video series. This video is to assist you with preparing and studying for your pre-trip test on your CDL exam for the trailer of the Class A vehicle. Have your training manuals ready? Let's go. My bulkhead has no signs of damage such as cracks, bulges or holes. The marker lights and reflectors, there's no missing hardware, they're amber in colour, securely mounted, clean, not cracked or broken and they are working. Landing gear. It is fully raised and the support frame is not cracked, bent, broken or damaged and it has no missing parts. The crank handle is secure and stowed. The sand shoe is present and free of debris. Lights, reflectors and DOT tape. The lights and reflectors are amber in colour at the front and red at the rear. Securely mounted, clean, not cracked or broken and working. The DOT reflective tape is in good condition, clean, not ripped or torn. Tape must be 50% present and not missing or damaged on the sides of the trailer. Trailer cross member rails, lateral rails and flooring. They are all securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken. No rust, no unauthorized welds or holes. The cross member rails are not sagging because they make up the frame of the trailer and support the weight of the load. Trailer access lines. Securely mounted, no abrasions, bulges or cuts, no leaks. They are properly positioned above pavement, good clearance. Sliding tandem system. Securely mounted, no missing hardware, not cracked, bent or broken. The locking pins are locked in place and the release arm is secure in the locked position. It is not bent, cracked or damaged. Spring hangers. My spring hangers are securely mounted and not cracked, bent or broken. There's no missing hardware and there's no damaged or missing bushings. The rear shackle is in place with the bushing. Leaf springs. Securely mounted. There are no leaves missing. There are not shifted, scissored, cracked or broken. U-bolts. Securely mounted. No missing hardware. Not cracked, bent, broken or loose. There are four nuts, four washers and four bolts. There are no shiny threads that would indicate looseness or cross-threading. Torque rod and mount. My torque rod and mount is not damaged and is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken and has no missing hardware. Brake hoses. Securely mounted, not cracked or worn, and no missing hardware. No abrasions, bulges or cuts, and no leaks from the lines or couplings. Brake chambers. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. There's no dents, no leaks. The clamps and hardware are in place with no missing hardware. Slack adjusters and push rod. Say, I would chock my wheels, release my brakes and pull on the push rod. It should not move more than one inch. The slack adjuster and push rod should be securely mounted with no loose, broken or missing parts. Brake drum. Securely mounted, not cracked and bent. There's no holes, there's no debris, oil or grease inside the drum. Brake shoes. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken, must not be worn dangerously thin and they are in proper placement within the drum. There is no debris, oil or grease inside the shoe. Trailer wheel group. The tire tread must be 230 seconds or more of tread depth in all grooves. The tread is evenly worn with no abrasions, bulges or cuts or other damage to the tread or side walls. The tire must be beaded properly to the rim with no leaks around the rim. Say, I would check the tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge at the valve stem. The valve stem and valve cap are not missing, broken or damaged, and are not leaking. Tire space. There must be at least three fingers of space between my tires. Tires are not touching and there are no foreign objects lodged between them. Lug nuts. Securely mounted, not cracked and none missing. There are no rust trails or shiny threads that would indicate looseness or cross-threading. Bolt holes are not cracked or distorted. Rims. The inside and outside rims are touching bud to bud. The rims are not damaged or bent, have no unauthorized welds, and are securely mounted. Hub oil seal. Securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken or damaged. The hub oil seal is not leaking and the oil level is correct. I would check this visually with a sight glass or remove the plug and check with my finger. Say, I would repeat all checks for the second axle in the same method as I checked the first. Standing at the rear of the trailer now, I'm going to look at my door. If we have a roll-up door, it's going to be securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken and there's no missing hardware. Seal is in place, it's not cracked. Door opens, closes and latches from the outside. You do not have to demonstrate this. For a hinge door, we want to check the door tie that is securely mounted, no missing hardware and is not broken. The doors and hinges, they're securely mounted, have no missing hardware, not cracked, damaged or bent. It opens, closes and latches properly from the outside. The door seals are in good condition with no dry rot or damage. Four light check. My four way lights, signal lights and marker lights, my brake lights and my tail lights are all red in color, securely mounted, clean, not cracked or broken, and all lights are working. DOT tape. DOT reflective tape is in good condition, clean, not ripped, torn or damaged, with 100% of the tape present on the ICC bumper. Mud flaps. Securely mounted, no missing hardware, they are not torn or cut, they cover the width of the tires and at least half the length, and are not dragging on the ground. Passenger side check. Now say, I would check the passenger side in the same method as I check the driver's side. This video is for training students in Georgia in the United States to assist them to pass their CDL driving test. 
It may be beneficial for other students looking to learn to drive a truck in other states in the US and even around the world, but please know that the testing requirements will differ from state to state. This information is correct in 2023 at the time of publication, but testing requirements may very well change in the coming years ahead. On your test day, if you aren't driving equipment identical to what is shown in these videos, please consider what differences your test equipment has and ensure that you say what is shown here, applying it to the vehicles that you will use.